Test, test, test. And this is a terrain making test. Hey, and thanks for tuning in. This video is about a grimdark forest cabin. The focus of the model building tutorial is on making a moss covered peated roof in miniature. The hut is part of a terrain building project that is temporarily titled Vata Moss Rode, which we made for our book. Vata Moss Rode is a lonely settlement somewhere in the wasteness of the dead forest. An enchanted place where curious creatures dwell and go about their even more dubious business. In short, a perfect destination for an illustrious group of adventurers. The buildings are primitive and hard to make out in the gloomy forest. Roofs covered with moss and grasses. The walls of the dwellings are made of logs, clay and branches. This model is almost completely made out of cardboard, putty, wood scraps and decoration moss. Perfect to get started with terrain building. A special characteristic of this uh, model house are the carved tree skeletons that surround and even penetrate the cabin's roof. These are probably occult artifacts. More pictures showing all the details of the model are at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Let's look at the roofing of this cabin. The roof is made of an interesting material that I discovered by accident. This decoration moss consists of a layer of fleece on which static grass and scatter material is glued. This stuff is fairly easy to cut with scissors or a knife. Before gluing the decoration moss to a model, it is recommended to remove most of the fleece. The underside is also darkened with brown acrylic paint so that no bright fibers show through. And then cut the prepared pieces of decoration moss into strips and further into smaller, slightly irregular pieces. Feel free to round off the corners a bit. So the final result looks a little bit more natural. For gluing, PVA or wood glue is suitable, which is colored with a little acrylic paint too. This way you won't see any ugly glue marks after it dries. The roof is covered from bottom up to the ridge, row by row and slightly overlapping. Finally, a row of wider moss pieces goes on top of the ridge. If you are interested in this decoration moss material, check out the description for a link to the product. A few more details such as this wattle fence and the terrain can be painted. The painting goes quickly from hand, priming and dark washes are half of the battle. With some fine turf and moss, the terrain blends nicely into the overall picture. And now, as promised, the shots of all the details. This project is part of our first book, Miniature Terrain Making Volume 1. If you haven't pre-ordered a copy yet, hurry up, because right now you still have the chance to support the book at Kickstarter conditions. Have fun with crafting and see you soon. Cheers!